Hey everybody, so today I'm coming to you with a little bit of a different type of video. I'm going to be showing you how to refill your um, no touch um, hand soap dispenser cartridge and how to refill your um, floor cleaner cartridge for the Swiffer WetJet. Um, this is probably not a secret. <laughs> I didn't discover this. I'm sure there's probably other videos out that are similar. And um, I think I found how to refill the wet jet dispenser on Pinterest many years ago. Um, these are two items that I typically wouldn't have bought myself because I'm kind of cheap. Um, I like to save money any way I can. And to me, when I buy hand soap, I buy the cheap 99 cent hand soap. And then I was using a mop and bucket for every time I cleaned my floor in my house. But the wet jet was actually a wedding gift, and for the longest time I was buying, rebuying the cartridges over and over again, and I loved the wet jet, I didn't want to get rid of it, and I thought there has to be some way, someone somewhere has had to have come up with a, you know, a technique to get these open and refill them, and so with a little bit of research I did find how to refill these, and when I got this, um, the soap dispenser, I had a coupon and the coupon got the cartridge for free when you bought the dispenser and then another coupon for the dispenser itself so I actually got it dirt cheap and the first time I emptied the cartridge I ended up just setting this under my sink and not using it for a really long time because I was too cheap to go and spend four or five dollars on this amount of soap. I mean it's very ridiculous when you can get, you know, a bottle twice the size for 99 cents. So for a while I wasn't using my head and I didn't think, well, maybe I can use the same technique that I use on the wet jet refill, on the soap dispenser refill, and lo and behold it worked. And so now I can put whatever soap I want on here, um, antibacterial, scented, or even what I'm going to do this time is instead of putting hand soap in it, I'm going to put dish soap in it. That way I can just slide my sponge underneath it and it'll eject the dish soap and I don't have to go under my sink and back and forth like I do when I do dishes. So it's super easy. I think anybody can do it. All you need is hot water. Seriously, that's all you need. I take a coffee cup. It's not necessarily necessary to boil the water. So I just put the coffee cup in the microwave for a few minutes, get the water very hot. So be careful, I usually use a hand towel to pull the cup out and then I also use the hand towel to twist the lids off. And so that's what you're gonna be seeing today is how to refill these if you already own them and you're tired of buying the refills or if you want to get one but you just didn't think that it was, um, you know, a smart purchase. But this way, I can put whatever I want in here. I can put whatever I want to clean my floors, whatever floor type I have, wood, tile, ceramic, whatever I need to put in here I can. Or those of you who like to make your own floor cleaners, you like to go the natural route, it's so perfect because you can mix your own cleaner and use it in like a modernized, you know, Swiffer. So this is how you do it. You just take the lid and you dip it into the hot water and you want to let it sit there for about a minute or so and what it's doing is there are tabs inside the lid that are keeping it connected and they're hard so it prevents you from twisting the lid off this way the hot water is softening the plastic tabs and making it easier for you to twist the lid off so fair amount of time and it just pops right off. I mean super easy and now I can put whatever I want in there and then the lid easily goes right back on and I'm ready to go. And the same goes for your hand soap dispenser. Just submerge the lid fully in the water and hold it there. I don't even think I go a full minute when I dip it. But I love when I discover stuff like this. I mean, like I said, these things are not something that I would have just bought and used regularly. Um, 
They're things that I acquired since I got married and they're so convenient and they make life so much easier. And I'm so happy that I was able to find a way to continue to use them that, you know, oh, my water kind of cooled because I've been talking for so long, sorry. But the soap dispenser and the wet jet dispenser, the lids come off exactly the same. You warm them up, it softens the plastic, they pop right off, and then you can put whatever you want in them. Um, I personally am kind of cheap, like I've mentioned before, and I just buy a huge multi-purpose cleaner from the Dollar Tree and I use that in multiple parts of my house. I use it to fill the um, wet jet dispenser. I use it in a reusable um, sprayer for my kitchen and bathroom to clean those surfaces. And I've been pretty happy with that. But like I said, you can put whatever you like inside. And so really guys, it's super easy. Like I said, all you need is the hot water. I mean, literally a microwave safe container, coffee cup worked just fine for me. Heat it up a couple minutes in the microwave, you know, dip the lids in, they pop right off, and then you are free to, you know, use your products over and over and over again without, you know, spending a fortune. And another tip that I have for anybody who owns the wet jet or maybe is thinking about purchasing it, I get the um, pads that you use at the Dollar Tree. Four for a dollar. So that's four of them for a dollar and they are exactly the same as the name brand ones. I mean, they are literally the same and they work great. I was so excited when I found these. I mean, you're, I'm always skeptical of you know, buying something so cheap. I try not to expect too much out of it, but I bought these and I opened it up and I, my mind was just blown. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been spending so much money on these and now I get four for a dollar and it's just been a lifesaver, it really has. So hopefully um, anybody who was specifically looking for this video, I'm glad you found it and I really hope that it helped you out. And those of you who are following me and you liked what you've seen today, then like go ahead and let me know. If anybody's interested in any other products or any other life hacks, just give me a thumbs up or comment below and I'd be more than happy to share anything with you guys, especially if it helps save them some money. So um, thank you so much for watching. And like I said, let me know if you wanna see more of these videos.